Hello students, welcome to Arise the Talent. I am your maths teacher, Arpita Sharma. Okay, so we were discussing triangles, right? And I have promised to tell you about the theorems and some questions or based on similarity of triangle. Okay, so we have a basic theorem of proportionality, basic theorem of proportionality. So now you can see we have used this word proportionality. So basically it will be uh, something kind of proportions and all that in this particular theorem and secondly is this that we call it Thales theorem now that's theorem okay now it's important students so concentrate right look here basic proportionality theorem or thales theorem now if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides then it divides the two sides in the same ratio what it is trying to say that if i am having this triangle okay let's say a b and c this is a triangle now it's saying that a line is drawn parallel so we will draw a line parallel let's let's have this figure here right below this now this is a b and c and let's suppose any line which is parallel to the one side pick one side let's pick this b and c so we'll be having a parallel line like this here intersecting these two lines these two other lines now mark it d and e so what it's saying that the other two sides then it divides the two sides in the same ratio that means ad by this db it will divide this side in ad and db and this side in ae and ec now this theorem says that these proportions are same okay so we have to prove that ad by db equals to a by ec okay so we have to prove this and this is our thales theorem this theorem will going to use to prove many other theorems and also to solve some questions okay students so hmm let's rub this part and this is a chapter okay so we are not going to rub this right now talking about the proof okay so we always talk about these proof things so going to proof part first understand what we have to prove we have understood that we have to prove we have to prove ad by db equals to a by ec now look student if you will take this side then 
you can have the parallel line here and if you are taking this side then you can have parallel line here we have just considered one case and this will apply in both remaining case it's same thing okay so we will construct this uh, this triangle now here because we have to do some constructions to prove that what this okay so again a b and c and d and e now i will construct a perpendicular from the apex d to the line ae and same here i'll name it m and i'll name it n okay now i will again join d and c and i'll jo uh, join e and b why i'm doing this because i have to prove this and this i mean this and this and this and this that means this and this okay i have to use triangles that will include these sides so i'm going to take this triangle and this triangle and will do something okay and then i will take this triangle and this triangle and i'll do something okay what will i do i am going to just write the area and calculate it it's just so simple students okay so let's start in triangle age okay area of triangle ag will be equals to what half multiply by base multiply by height now look at this particular triangle you have base if you having base as ad the perpendicular will be this en so your area will be equals to half multiply by ad of base multiply by en okay now area triangle this triangle i'm going to take deb okay deb so students again it will be half multiply by base multiply by height i am not going to write this again and again you only have to do this okay in your board exams you have to write it again and again the formula okay so what will uh, it will become half multiply by base so uh, base of this particular triangle will be um, this that is bd multiply by height now look we have extended this bd to ba now the perpendicular on this is en again so multiply by e and okay students now what we are going to do we uh, we want the ratio of this and this so just simply mark it one mark it two by dividing equation 1 by equation 2 what you will get you will get area i can write area as ar as you have done in your previous classes area triangle ade divided by area triangle what deb what you will be uh, will be having half multiply by ad multiply by en and half multiply by bd multiply by en okay now you can cut this and this so you will get what ad divided by bd now look Mm, we are getting results something like what we have to prove okay so name this equation third it's important equation okay now do again what i told you i'll uh, i'll be taking this and this triangle and this and this triangle so again this triangle now i'll be assuming the base 
this because I have some work from this particular side now. Okay. So, area again triangle A, D, E will be half into base into height and half multiplied by base is what? This time it is A, E and if A is base then the perpendicular will D, M or M, D. Right, MD. I'll write it DM. Okay. Now, this is our fourth equation. Now, coming to area of triangle DEC, DEC. So, that will be half multiplied by base base of this I will be taking this EC now if EC is base then perpendicular is what again that's DM is perpendicular right I will mark it not fourth it will be fifth okay I will mark it fifth now I am rubbing this okay now what divide equation so, this is of no use now, so just, okay, now we can have the look here. So, by dividing equation 4th and 5th, okay, what will get? Area, AD again and divided by area DC this time DEC okay that will be half multiplied by A by DM okay and here half multiplied by EC multiplied by DM now again Lucky enough, we can cancel this and this. So, it will become AE multiplied by EC. Now, look, this is A by EC, A by EC, AD by DB, uh, AD by DB or BD. Now, you have to equate these two, uh, these two proportion. How will you get that? Now, come here, we will uh, talk about this figure. In this figure, if you look at the triangle DEB, which is this particular triangle and uh, triangle DEC, that is this particular triangle, what you will see is that DE is parallel to BC. Mark this in figure we have DE parallel to BC and triangle DEB and triangle DEC okay these two triangles are having same base and between two parallel lines. So what? So area of both triangles will be equal. We know this from previous classes. So area mm, the one is here DEB and will be equals to area DEC area of these two triangle area of these two triangle will be equal okay so I can rewrite this equation as 1 upon AR DEB 
equals to 1 upon a r d e c ok students copy this ok so now multiplying this because we are having d e b ok here uh, and uh, area of d c here so we have to restore this a d e na so we have to just multiply this will be equation what for fifth then this will be our equation sixth okay so this will be our equation seventh multiplying equation seventh by area of ad right so we will be getting area ade divided by area deb equals to area ade upon area d e c ok now look area a d e equals to area d e b is equals to this is equals to what area a d e by area d e c that was here ok so it is saying that this equation sixth is equals to this equation third right I am going to rub till there ok. Equation this third and equation sixth and our last equation ninth we can say that ad by bd by bd you can write bd as db will be equals to this ae multiply by sorry divided by ec so this is this is the same result that you have to prove that is ad by db equals to ae by ec now in the figure we can say that if we are having a triangle abc and from BC we have a line DE which is parallel to this. Now AD proportion of this to this will be equals to proportion of this to this. So this is the proof of Thel's theorem. Okay, I am going to rub this now. I hope you have noted it down. So, we have proved one part we are having others two by the help of this we are going to explore two more things right what is that have a look that is if in triangle ABC correct it it is triangle ABC a line DE parallel to BC intersects AB in D and AC in E then AB by AD will be equals to AC by AE and second AD by DB equals to AC by EC we are going to prove this one by one now we have to first draw this triangle as per we have asked okay so this will be our triangle that will be a 
B and C. Now D E is parallel to B C. This is B C. So this will be D E, right? To prove we are having first, I am going to prove the first part A B by D E. That will be equals to AC by AE, AC by A. Okay. So, we are having our Thales proportionality theorem by basic proportionality theorem or Thales proportionality theorem What we are having, tell me students, we are having AD by DB equals to A by EC, okay. AD by DB equals to A by EC, right. Name it equation 1, noted. Now, what you have to do, you have to apply reciprocal of equation 1 which is what db by reciprocate this ad and that will be equals to ec by ae ok again cross check it I will uh, write I have written ad by db will be equals to ae by ec Okay, so reciprocal theorem we have applied. So db here, so numerator will become denominator, denominator will become numerator. db upon ad will be equals to ec upon a. Now just add 1 to both the equations. Okay, by adding 1 to both sides. What we will have? We will have BD plus BD by AD plus 1 that will be equals to EC by AE plus 1. Okay, students, now take the LCM AD that will be DB plus AD and here it will be by AE and in numerator it will be EC plus A. Now, my dear students, what will be the next? We will solve this. Now, look, DB plus AD. This is your AD and this is your DB. So, DB plus AD will be nothing but AB. This implies that AB and denominator is all same by AD equals to, now look at this, EC plus AE will be what? In this figure, it will be EC plus AE. So, EC plus AE will give you AC, okay, AC and numerator, uh, numerator is same, AE, okay, AB by AD will be equals to AC by AE. Now, Okay, AB by DE. Students correct it here, okay, because this is wrong what we have asked for. Maybe there is some other issues, there is some typing mistake, okay. So, it will be AD by DB. It is saying that you have said that AD by DB will be equals to A E by E C. Now, by this prove that if you are taking the full ratio, full side ratio, this particular side, then it will be equals to full side ratio, this particular side. Okay, you have to prove this. So, by this you have proved here, you have proven here that A B by A D will be equals to A C by a. 
Okay, students. Now you have done this for part two. Okay, for part two, what you have to do? I am giving you a hint. I am giving you. I am providing you a hint. And by this hint, you have to do. Uh, you have to do your uh, next theorem. A uh, next. Uh, sorry, and uh, next. What I am saying. Next part of this particular theorem that. Uh, what I have given you in the second point. Okay, so you have not that question also. So what you have to do, to, uh, you, uh, what you will have to do is in this part, in the first part, what steps I have followed. I have written Thales theorem. Okay, then I take the reciprocal. Okay. And after taking reciprocal, I solved it. No, no, I added, I added one, added one to both side. And solved. Or, and that ultimately proved it. Okay, now for the second part, what you have to do, you just have to just not have this thing. Okay, don't reciprocate it. Just apply Thales theorem and then add one to both side. Then solve this and you will get the required, uh, that required equation for sure. Okay. So, students, I am concluding this lecture. We have, we, uh, I have taught you Thales theorem. Okay. And uh, based on that Thales theorem, I have done one part of this particular theorem. Now, we will do the second part in the next lecture. Plus, we will do, we will be doing some questions also. Now, what you have to do, you just have to revise what I have told you in this lecture okay so we will meet again till uh, till then bye bye thank you